Hey there, Mr. Leatherwood. And Ms. Mitchell. And we're talking about geometry today. It rocks. Uh, it rocks, evidently. Yes. Yes. Geometry. So we're talking about lines and angles and shapes and... Solids. Solids. Liquids? Mm, Not so much. No. No, <laughs> no liquids. Um, so we thought we'd, we, uh, we have some geometry here. Yeah. Some real world... Life of geometry yes. right there. Planking. Look at there. Look at her planking. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what planking was. Yeah. I planking thought... is when you are parallel to the ground. Parallel. Ooh, geometry, geometry term. Geometry word. 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 To your mother. So, pl so parallel, what's parallel mean? Parallel means that there are two lines <laughs> that even if they extend on forever, they will never, ever, ever cross. Ever, ever. Never, ever. Like Kay. railroad tracks. Like railroad tracks. So if you're, you've, you've made a line there, mm -hmm. and we're going to, every, everybody imagine that's a perfectly straight line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a line. And I am parallel to... To the, the floor. The floor. Ooh, that was a pretty good, pretty straight line. So parallel, never, ever, ever, ever going to cross. Mm -mm. So you want to put that definition on your homework sheet right now. Yeah. What a parallel line is. Two lines that will never cross. Okay. Then let's look at... Thinking. <laughs> parallel lines. Thinking parallel. Okay. I think they'll remember now. Okay. Then we have Mr. Leatherwood Whoa. here. Whoa. Whoa. Handstand city. That's me. And we have a different type of line here. Yes, we do. Um, completely off the wall here. This is not on script, guys. What kind of lines are these back here? Ooh, I'm going to go with parallel. Lucky there. Parallel lines. Okay, back to me because I'm important. Right. Okay, so I make a line, right? I'm going to pick a different color because you got to be colorful in life. Mm -hmm. So I make a line, a little straight line here-ish. And then the floor makes a line. Mm. Mm. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You are perpendicular to the floor. I am perpendicular to the floor. What is perpendicular? I love that word. Two lines that intersect at a perfect 90 degree angle. Yeah, 90 degree angle. 90 degrees. That little square tells us it's exactly 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. I guess technically, since I'm doing a line, I should put some arrows at the end. Yeah. Goes on forever. Forever. Lines go on forever. This, would, I guess, would be a line segment here. We can talk about that later. <laughs> so this is perpendicular. Yep. Two lines that intersect and make a 90 degrees angle. All right. Fill that in. Top left. Don't forget. Wee. Oh. Wee. All right. We're going to draw something, right? So hold on. Okay. Hold on. I mean. They can hold, they on? hold on. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, we have a drawing. We do. We do. It's gorgeous. Some lines and some rays. What's a line? A line. Okay, I'm gonna here I'll draw it separate away from this madness. So a line is a straight well, I don't know how to say it other than a straight line. Uh, a line goes on forever. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Hey, okay, that's okay. So a line goes forever. Go, so we have we have two arrows here. And we could, we could label this line A, B. So it goes on forever. They're never going to stop. In both directions. Both directions. Yes. That's exactly right. But a both ray, directions. you said. A ray. I did say not a ray. Like an, not like an array. Not like an array. But maybe you should write them separately. A ray is a what I'm saying. A ray. A. A as in one. Ray. Ray. <laughs> Ray. It's confusing. All by itself. How is a ray different from a line? Okay, so if you see the line, so this is line up here, a line has an arrow at both ends, so that means that it goes on forever on both ends. Yes. Where a ray starts at A and goes on forever going towards B. So it has one end point and then extends forever in one other direction. Yes. Awesome. That's oh. on my homework sheet. I it should is. write that down. Yeah. And then we have segments, too. What? What's that? So a line segment, or segments, 
has a starting point and an ending point. Oh, so it doesn't extend forever in either direction. Nope, that's it. Just that little piece. It's like a piece of the, like a number line. So that would be a line segment. Line segment. So a line segment has a starting point and an ending point. I should write that down, too. Mm -hmm. A line has a A and a B or C and a D, whatever, but both sides go on forever. Mm -hmm. And then a ray... A, ray. A, ray <laughs> has a starting point and then goes on forever. All right. Makes sense? Cool. All right. So we have all that. And I'll take it off so we can mess with these other... Let's talk about angles now. Ooh, angles are good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, we have... How many angles we want? Three angles this year, right? Mm-hmm. We talked about the right angle earlier with the perpendicular. Yeah. So right angle. Do, 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 do. Which we said was a perfect 90 degrees. 90 degrees. I should write it down. Okay, so that's right angle. Up in our little picture, do you see any right angles? I do, I do. Where, where, where? I see that line A, B, C has a right angle. Very good. So right here, there's our right angle. Mm -hmm. Is that good? And then we so have... angle B would be right. Angle, angle B, that's right. Mm -hmm. So right angle. We have obtuse angles. Obtuse. Obtuse. I think of it. awkward word. I think of it as ah, like at the dentist. Ah, ah my mouth obtuse. is open. You're opening your mouth. Here. I'll make a cute little... I always have a hard time drawing an obtuse angle. Just a little personal information there. Was that an alligator? It's someone's face oh. with teeth. No? Mm, Not very that much? That was really good. Good job. Yeah. Oh, was that a tongue? That was a tongue, Oh, yeah. I see it Does now. that make a little bit more sense? All right, so what is the definition of obtuse? So obtuse... Do, 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 is greater than 90. We'll go with that. An angle yeah, greater than 90 it. degrees. Greater than 90. Okay. Greater than 90 degrees. So okay. you can see that it's bigger than 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's one more. It's so, My favorite. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's an acute angle. And let me guess. If we have one that's equal to 90, one that's greater than 90, this one has got to be less than 90 degrees. Less than 90. It's so, it's so cute. Cute. Obtuse. Not obtuse. Obtuse. <laughs> All right, so we got our angles down, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. We found the 90 degree angle. Can you find an obtuse angle? Mm -hmm. We'll do our obtuse angles in red. I see that... Line C E G, the angle E. C E G, right there. Uh huh. See my laser That's pointer. That's neat. Isn't that snazzy? Yeah. I like We've that. We've never used that. No, we haven't. So angle E there would be mm -hmm. obtuse. Obtuse. If that one's obtuse, does that mean that this one is obtuse? It sure does. It sure does. Um, how about acute? We'll use orange uh, for acute. Yeah, man. So cute. Um, I'm gonna go with A. Is that a J? That's a J. A J I. Oh, good, right here. Uh huh. Okay. So angle A J I is a cute it's angle. It's so cute. And then if that's a cute, does that mean this one's a cute? It sure does. Sure does. I see a trend. All right. Good angles there. Yeah. All right. What else do we want to teach them today? Um, you want to give them another picture and then they have to find examples in the picture to put into their notes. That'd be good. So that'd be their homework. Okay. We I noticed on our sheet we didn't talk about intersecting really. Oh, well, what do you think that would be? When they're crossing? Yeah, it would. Yeah. They intersect. So there's an intersection like an here. Intersection. Intersection here. In the street. Good. And congruent. Streets cross. <laughs> Issues. Congruent. Con we missed that one. We did. Grr. Let's Grr. do it. Okay. So. Clear it out. Clear it out. Okay. Bloop. Oh, now we can't get rid of it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Bloop. Uh, Bloop. Bloop. Okay. Congruent. So we want 
I'm gonna do this one with the shape instead of the You're so fancy. line. Boop. Oh, 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 oh. There's a square-ish, at least a rectangle. For sure, a rectangle. For sure, a rectangle. And then... There you go. Does that look-ish? Oh, maybe uh, a little... Maybe put it over it. Oh, oh, not so quite. So close. Oh. Oh, 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 I just can't. Oh, can't get it right. The... Well, that would mean that since you can't get it right, oh, what we're wait. saying. Oh. Uh, uh. Close enough. I'll Yay. take it. That means those two shapes are congruent. Because they are the. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, they're the same size, same which is size. what we were obviously working on. And yeah. what else do they have to be? Um, Pretty? Mmm. No. Good try, but try same again. Size, same shape. Same shape. Same shape. So we have two at least rectangles, almost squares probably. And they are the same size and yeah. they have the same shape. So they are congruent. Write it down. Same size, same shape. Let's give them some homework. All right, let's give them some homework. Uh, we will be back shortly. Bye Don't bye. leave. Don't leave. We'll be right back. All right, we're back and you have another picture. Woo! So we would like you... To use this picture, you can redraw this picture, don't you think? Is that yeah. okay? And yeah. then <laughs> I want you to give us an example of a perpendicular line, a parallel line, intersecting line, maybe what a ray is, an example of a ray, mm -hmm. a segment, maybe a right angle, an obtuse, and an acute angle. Yeah. That's a lot. And it says example by congruent, but you don't have to put an example there. No, that's okay. Um... So, let's say, let's say they were giving us um, a right angle. Mm -hmm. um, how should they write that? Like, let's say, I'll give, them, I'll give them one here. So, this is a right angle. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. How would they tell us that that's a right angle? They could write angle R, B, 7? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. What was that letter there? Oh, uh, maybe it's a B. Seven's okay. No? <laughs> RV7? We usually use letters. All right, fine. Well, it's a B then. Okay, okay. so RBB. Okay, so angle R B B. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. So this would be an example of that because it goes R... B's in the middle, and B, or they could go all the way to Q, right? Oh, they could do A, B, Q, same angle. A, B, Q, oh yeah. A, B, Q. Or okay. A, B, B. So the middle, the middle dot is always the middle letter. Yeah. And then the starting dot, middle, ending dot. Does that work? Yeah. All right, good luck. Good Ooh, luck. long video this time, 13 minutes. That's fun. Yeah. All right. Now go plank somebody. Go plank someone or do a handstand. Don't don't hurt yourself. Make I it. did not, parents. I did not tell them to go do a handstand. Oh, okay. That was Mr. Leatherwood for the record. Four six nine six three three. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye bye.